Hey folks, Alex here with eVelo Electric Bicycles. We're just out today with our Delta X model. We wanted to show you the difference between pedal assistance and throttle. Let's go for a ride. Start off by taking a look at this throttle here. It's on the left hand side. You can see it's a really smooth action. You press it with your thumb there. Um, really smooth, really easy to press. And that's gonna give you a few different things. It's gonna give you power on demand. So as you're riding, you can press that at any time. We'll cut to some riding footage as well. And then also, it's gonna give you a boost of power when you need it. So if you're looking to go up a steeper hill and you don't really wanna pedal, you can press that. Um, or if you're just on flat ground and you wanna stop pedaling, you can press that as well. The throttle will also override the pedal assist level. So let's say you're going up a steep hill and it's a little steeper than you thought. Instead of messing with these buttons, you can just press that throttle and it's gonna give you an additional boost of power there. The pedal assist is really gonna be the main feature here. And you have two buttons. You have a plus and minus button here on the left-hand side. And we can cut over to the display panel and you'll see that number zero at the bottom there. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. And that's gonna go one through five. And that's gonna control the level of power you're gonna get out of the motor. So realistically, level zero is nothing. It just rides like a regular bicycle. Um, levels one, two, and three are gonna give you a good amount of assistance. You're definitely gonna notice it. These are the levels you're gonna to wanna to spend the most time in when you're riding on regular terrain. Um, it's going to get you the best mileage out of the bike. And then when we're talking four and five, that's when you're looking for some get up and go, looking for a little more power. We're also tackling a steeper hill. Let me cut over to a different angle there. You can see that number a little better. Um, so that's the display panel. Um, you have a bunch of other features on this as well, but we're just going to talk about the pedal assist for right now. So let's cut to some riding footage and, and check out what it all looks like here. You can see I kind of start out with the throttle and then pedal a little bit and then take my thumb off the throttle. So you can mix and match. You can use the throttle, not pedal. You can pedal, not use the throttle. Or you can press the throttle and it's going to give you a little boost while you're pedaling as well. So you can mix and match all that stuff. There's definitely a little bit of a learning curve. Everybody has a slightly different style on how they like to use that throttle or the pedal assist. So we're throttle only right now on the highest gear. And you can see we're moving pretty good at just over 20 miles an hour. The Delta X definitely has some power and some speed. Just coming to a quick stop on the bike path here. I'm gonna show you how that throttle functions from a stop. Again, we've got that right on the left-hand side. I'm just gonna press this here. And off we go. in PAS level zero, which again is just like a regular bike. I'm just pedaling. And you can see as I go into pedal assistance one, we're gonna to start to move a little bit faster there on the display panel. Let's crank it up to three. So the pedal assist is gonna provide both speed and power, right? So they do go hand in hand. The higher pedal assist level, the faster you're gonna go and vice versa. And we're just using the throttle now. So I'm not pedaling at all. We're cooking at about 20 miles an hour right now. Making another quick pit stop here. I wanna show you guys how that throttle incorporates with the pedals. A lot of people think that when you press the throttle, the pedals are gonna automatically move. That's not the case. The pedals aren't gonna move automatically. So let's take a look at what that looks like as we ride here. So you guys, we're rolling along here and you see when I press this throttle, that front sprocket is gonna rotate there and the pedals do not rotate. So that's kind of a common misconception that the motor is going to drive the pedals. It, it does not. So again, this is throttle only. You can see that sprocket's rotating and, and driving the rear wheel there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch into pedal assist mode. Slow down just a little bit. All righty, and you can see now that I'm pedaling, that motor's engaging, but you can't really tell. If I stop pedaling, that motor's going to stop assisting as well. So again, throttle simply pressing that throttle, that's gonna drive our chain. And then if I pedal, that pedal assistance is gonna kick on as well. So I'm just using that throttle, I'm letting the bike do all the work here, getting up this hill. All right, guys, well, I'm going to head back to the shop. It's getting a little chilly out here. Just wanted to say thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to look at our website, evelo.com, and keep your eyes peeled for some more videos.